Powder suspension is a relatively new enhancement technique which is used on non-porous surfaces. It is a suspension of a coloured metal in a detergent solution. Firstly, a brush is dipped into the powder suspension solution. This is applied to the surface in a similar motion to applying paint. Once coated, the powder suspension is washed off the surface with powder suspension remaining at the finger mark. The item is generally left to dry before any finger marks are recorded using photography. Finger mark powders are used to enhance marks on non-porous surfaces. Different metals are used to make finger mark powders. Powders are simply metallic dust which are applied using a special powder brush. However, some are magnetic which need to be applied using a magnetic applicator. Different powders are recommended for use on different surfaces, such as aluminium powder is most effective on glass and black magnetic powder is most effective on UPVC. The powders adhere to the substances that are present in the finger mark. Once visualised, powdered finger marks can either be photographed or lifted using finger mark tape, which is subsequently attached to clear acetate. Ninhydrin is a chemical solution which is used to enhance finger marks on porous surfaces such as paper and cardboard. The surface is washed with the solution and left to dry before being placed into a 70 degree centigrade humid oven for 15 minutes. Ninhydrin reacts with the amino acids present in the finger mark deposit to produce a purple coloured mark. The finger mark is recorded using photography and appropriate camera filters. Cyanoacrylate or superglue fuming is another technique which is used for non-porous surfaces. The vapour given off from the superglue reacts with some finger marks. Items for enhancement are placed inside a specialist cabinet that controls humidity and allows superglue to vaporise. The vapour produces a white crystalline substance on the finger mark ridges. This also stabilises the mark. To further visualise the finger mark, it can be dyed using fluorescent dyes or powders can be applied.